Welcome to this Excelstat short video on how to set up an analysis in Excelstat. The first thing you have to do is to open the dialog box of the analysis you want to perform. In Microsoft Excel 2007 and 2010 you have a menu bar that contains a list of functions. Click on the one you wish to use. If you are using Microsoft Excel 2003 or a prior version you may use the toolbar and select the icon of the analysis to be used. Once the dialog box is open, you must select the data you wish to analyze. The selection is done on the general tab. Depending on the analysis, there will be different options. One or several tables containing one or several variables. The type of expected variable is defined in the dialog box to ease your use you may select qualitative or quantitative variables. To proceed to selection, click on the range selector and select the data in the spreadsheet. You can select the columns directly if the data start in the first row or you may select the range. The variables can be non-adjacent. In this case, we have a column selection from the column B to the column I. In this other case, the data are selected as range. Also, the data are non-adjacent. You may need to fill in further information. For example, the presence of variable or sample labels. In this case, we have the name of variables included in the selection, so you need to tick the option Variable Labels. Also, you may wish to include observations or units labels. In this case, tick the option Observation Labels and click on the Range Selector to select them. Finally, in the General tab, you can decide where the analytical results should be displayed. You have three choices. You can place them at a specific place in a spreadsheet, and in this case, you select the option Range. The output can be displayed in a new sheet. In this case, select the option Sheets. The last option enables you to place the results in a new workbook. This option is Workbook. Each method provides you with a different dialog box containing various tabs. Each tab gives you the choice of the available options. Each tab has a specific purpose for the settings of the analysis. It is important to go through the tabs Outputs and Charts as they are the ones giving you the options for the results to be displayed. Don't hesitate to click on the Help button, available in the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Upon click, the Help documentation will be displayed and you can browse through the dialog box section of the selected analysis to learn about the options. When everything is set, you can proceed to the calculations by clicking on the OK button. If you notice that you have to make a change, you can always go back by clicking on the back button. Thank you for watching this video. Should you need assistance, please contact us at info at